Peggy 18. So, here we are again with a follow-up to our first gameplay video, which was very well received. Lots of interesting comments like, are you David Attenborough and that commentary is cringeworthy? Uh, it's a wonder they asked us back. Nah, cringeworthy is the new cool. Is it? Yes, Sir David. Let's get on with it. What are we doing today? This time, we're on a mission to find and scout out a bandit camp, report back to Sir Radzig, and then join in the attack and hopefully find and kill the bandit leader, Runt. It should be in the woods at a deserted village called Pribislavitz. Good thing with a bite to eat. First things first. Have some of that chilli there. This is the Middle Ages. They don't have chilli. Beans, whatever. This camp is a bit messy, isn't it? We should get it made. It's a long way to this prib... Um, pribby... whatever. You'll need a horse. A horse? A horse. My kingdom for a horse. That wasn't bad. You could nearly be an actor. Thank you. Ah, my faithful steed. Olena. Let's take a look at the map. We've already found out the location of the bandit camp. Here, in these woods. We need to go and scout it out so we know what kind of force we're up against. And maybe we can even do a bit of sabotage. Sounds like fun. We need to keep our eyes peeled in these woods, though. The whole area is crawling with bandits and cutthroats. Like this knobhead here? Could be. Let's check him out. Looks dodgy to me. Put an arrow through his eye. Not so fast. He might have some useful information for us. Best proceed with caution. You're dead. See? I told you. What's the you should have shot him while Come you had on. the chance. You'll pay for that. Another one. No, you're fucked. No problem. I can handle him. A little bit of combat practice won't hurt. The trick is to keep moving. Switch from one to the other. One down. Yeah, the easy one. Time the strikes. This guy is kitted out like a tank. You won't have an easy time with him. The best way to deal with an opponent in heavy armour is to wear him down. Perfect blocks will cost him stamina and give me a chance to repost quickly. See? I block when I see the green shield and then strike back. Ha! Huh, that didn't go too well for you. Now you're done for. Not yet. I'm more agile than he is. Keep bleeding. Yeah. But he's getting tired. Take that! Another one bites the dust. Mercy kill. Ugh. That was fun, but now you're wounded. Take my advice, next knobhead we meet, shoot him in the face and ask questions later. I might at that. Now we can enjoy the view for a while. Hey, that's a nice house. Prime real estate. Thatched cottage in woodland area, affording stunning views of unspoiled countryside. Open fire, all mod cons. It's a pretty view, all right. We should be getting close. What's this guy hanging around for? Ha ha. I'd say the bandits strung him up as a warning, like a scarecrow, to frighten off unwelcome guests. Like us. Exactly. Best to dismount and proceed on foot. You're leaving all in, huh? Let's hope she doesn't end up like the scarecrow. So the camp will be close by. We've got a number of possible approaches. So, here we go again, sneaking through the woods. You really love sneaking through the woods like a little hedgehog, don't you? When are we going to see some action? Don't worry, there'll be plenty of action later. We'll be taking part in a big battle. But first, we have to scout out the area and see what we're up against. Looks like some cave or mine shaft up ahead. Yeah, an ideal hideout for bandits. Hmm. Looks like some kind of camp, all right. Let's check it out. Kick some ass. Nah. We've got more important things to deal with right now. Right, like sneaking through the woods. What's this bloody mess? Looks like some slaughter went down here. No, someone was skinning animals. See the pelts? Vultures? Could be. Or the guys in the cave. Hmm. 
now we're really close. Look, there's some knobhead. Right, better crouch. I don't want him spotting me before I get started. Two of them? Yeah, guarding the bridge. Shoot them. No, at that distance I'd miss, and then I'd alert them. Better to sneak around and see if there's a better approach. Hey, he picked a fine place to go for a jog. We'll have to try and find a gap. Another jogger. They're bandits, you idiot. Lucky they didn't see us. They're sure to have sentries posted all around, though. So let's see what it looks like from this side. A moat. It would take a while to get across, and there's nowhere to shelter from arrows. Looks like there's no other way except over the bridge. Maybe, maybe not. Let's take a look this way. Looks like some kind of makeshift bridge. We could get across there, but it's guarded too. Shoot him. Maybe later. The best thing to do now is wait till nightfall, then try and sneak in under the cover of darkness. Time to get dressed up for the occasion. What's wrong with the armour you've got? It'd take a trebuchet to smash through that. It might be good for battle, but I'd stand out like a sore thumb. It's too visible for stealth, too noisy and too heavy. I want dark clothing, quiet shoes, a dagger. The ninja outfit, but that will leave you vulnerable. I'd just have to steer clear of trouble then, wouldn't I? Well, that is your forte. Ah, I love a good storm. And actually it gives me a big advantage because, as it happens, I've got this Rain Man perk which makes me 30% quieter in the rain. Rain Man? Shouldn't that be a perk for playing dice? Of course, I don't have any underwear on. Kmart, Cincinnati. Stop that. You're totally spoiling my immersion. Sorry, couldn't resist. What now? Now we sneak across and creep up to them unnoticed. This guy wandering around on his own. Kill him. All right, all right, if it makes you happy. But stealthily so as not to alert his mates. Me on this. Nice. Now to hide his body somewhere. Chuck him in the stream. I'll just drop him in the undergrowth, here. Another one. Skewer him too. No sooner said than done. He won't sneak up in this one so easy. No, I'll take him down with an arrow. This is fun, in a sneaky kind of way. Let's kill them all. We still don't know how many there are. Don't forget, we're here to spy on the enemy camp so we can tell the captain what we're up against. But the more you kill, the less there'll be to battle with. Good ground for a big fight, but not much cover. True, but if I'm spotted before getting a look inside the camp, I'll have nothing to report. Let's get a little closer. Those heathens are a lot tidier than the bandits. That's real useful information. We can report to the captain that the Cumans are anal retentive. Hilarious. So far, so good. I'm practically invisible in these conditions. Yeah, but so is the enemy. We'll see them soon enough, though. Hmm. What's cooking here? Goulash, of course. Are we going to have some? No. 
We'll spice it up for them a bit. Bane. Deadly poison. I brewed it earlier in the alchemy lab. Clever lad. Enjoy your meal. Another pot. Same again. Why not? The secret is in the spices. All this sneaking around is all well and good. But couldn't you just kill a bunch of them and then make a run for it? I doubt I'd make it out alive. But there is another way. What's that? Well, remember the cave we passed? Yeah. See? A cumin. Shoot him. With pleasure. Now, all I have to do is loot him. I can take all his gear and disguise myself as one of them. Are the ears part of the disguise too? You could stick them on the helmet. No, but they're worth ten groschen as trophies. Taken then. Ten groschen ears don't grow on trees. So now you're just going to walk in as bold as brass? Yeah, but first I'm going to slip into something more comfortable. I've got 14 different slots for clothing and armour. The more cumin stuff I have on, the better my chances of passing for one of them. I see. Don't forget you also have to be really tidy. I'd say you look pretty convincing except for the lack of facial hair. We'll see. Here goes. That looked like a friendly wave. So far, so good. Don't mind me, Mr. Cumin. I'm just a Cumin doing Cumin stuff. No challenge. Good. Looks like it's working. But we still have a way to go. Another one. Actually, what happens if they talk to us? Let's just hope they don't. Mikena. Oh shit, that didn't sound very friendly. Ask him if you can borrow some soap powder to do your laundry. Who draws Nom Kel? I think you said your Hungarian is amazing and you must have studied the Sorbonne. Whatever it was, it looks like I passed. Now I can just walk right in. And poison the goulash. Right. Throw the ears in as well. Give them something to chew on. It's my own recipe. <laughs> now I can walk right through like I own the place and go and report to the captain. Time to attack. Great. Let's kick some cumin ass. Come on, get into the thick of it. Let's see some bloodshed. That's it. Yeah. Hack him to pieces. Good boys, come on. You're coming from all sides. Jeez, you need eyes in the back of your head here. Now to get inside the stockade and deal with the rest, but those guys have to move that wagon first. The way's clear, up and up them. Here we go. Right, how many of them are there? Peasant. Watch that one. Yes! After them. Take that. Yeah. Cut them up. Tough fuckers. There's more of them on top. They're raining arrows on us, and I've got the task of dealing with them. That won't be easy. You're too exposed. Cool. But I can create a smoke screen to confuse their aim. Yeah, it's getting a bit hairy. Up we go. Ha! And now, while they're blinded, 
We can charge them. Yeah, gotta watch the stamina. There's more of them holed up behind that wall. And watch out, here come more of the fuckers. Yeah, I'd better cover the guys with a battering ram. Take down those archers. You've got to watch out for friendly fire, too. Yeah. Nice shooting. But they're taking forever smashing down that door. We're in. That was quite a battle. Looks like we've won the day. It's not over yet. Now, to find Runt. That'll be that baldy bastard, yeah? That's him. Time for a showdown. He's climbing up to the bell tower. Just the place for a boss fight. <laughs> I will cleave you into you, bastard. 